Hi. Uh, today we're going to talk a little about uh, international school. There is um, there is a kind of scandal here now in Vietnam. Uh, the biggest international school in Ho Chi Minh City, uh, the American International School in uh, Nha Bé, they have uh, really, really financial troubles. The school um, in September, October um, had financial problems already. Um, the school actually did offer um, parents free education for the kids. So the deal was that the parents gave uh, the school a loan of two and a half billion dong and then one child could study for 12 years and, and then when they graduate they get money back. So, uh, but apparently they could get the money back if the, if the child changed schools or if they move abroad or something like that. Now, some wanted to move abroad or change schools or something and they asked for the money back and they couldn't get it back. So there was, a, there, there was a, quite a good scandal about that and protests and it was all over the news and stuff. Now, uh, right before Easter, it, uh, it kind of topped itself up because all the international teachers, they actually went on a strike because they haven't been paid for two months. Uh, no pay, the school didn't pay them salary or insurance. Uh, now it's three months left of the school year and uh, according to the news, they say the school, uh, the, the school owners say it's gonna cost five million dollars uh, US dollars to, to um, uh, be able to keep the school open for another three months. Uh, and also pay the two months of salaries that they didn't pay. Uh, so now they ask the parents that already, mind you, these parents already paid for the kids or they gave the school a loan that is lost. Um, and now they ask the parents basically to pay even more. So some parents are willing to do that for, for their kids and some parents uh, maybe cannot afford it or they don't want to put more money into it, whatever. Um, now the Department of Education in, in Ho Chi Minh is also in the picture here, of course, uh, because it is a huge case. It's a lot of money. Apparently, the, the school have over three trillion in debt. Now, this school has been running since 2006 and uh, you know they, they should have been able to uh, run quite good but the fact that they are so on the heels financially shows very clear that they take money out to invest in other projects or they take money out to put in their own pockets um, either way they drain the school for assets and you know now the school is in huge debt and teachers get not, not get paid and students not get education so this is this is uh, the backside of Asia everything is about money and um, last year in, in was it August September was another uh, case that was up I think in Da Nang area, outside Da Nang, something in that area, where where a uh, school owner actually took all the money and and ran abroad, and suddenly all the parents had already paid for the school year for the kids, and there the parents were with, you know, they lost their money and the kids didn't have any school to go to, so. It's very cruel uh, what these people do to, to kids and families. They don't give a shit. It's, it's uh, very, very hard to find a good school and to not get ripped off. And um, bottom line, if you are in Ho Chi Minh or if you plan on go to Ho Chi Minh, uh, I wouldn't say international schools are bad. I just say you need to be very careful. You need to do a really, really extensive and good research about the school you consider um, 
and furthermore you should never ever pay for two three four twelve ten years uh, because nobody know if the school gonna last that long or if the if the owner do a runner and take the money you should try pay month by month it's more expensive uh, everybody say that because they of course want to uh, manipulate you to to put the money in uh, so they say it's more expensive if you pay month to month and and of course it is because they want you to pay for a longer time so they you know can scam in a way uh, later down that line and that we see now with uh, not just two schools it's been others uh, English uh, education centers as well not not English schools not international schools but those English centers that also also hire a lot of Western teachers um, our parks is now closed down in in uh, South Vietnam they still operate in uh, in northern Vietnam but they also own about three million dollars or something to to just people uh, in in Ho Chi Minh so they also did uh, they, they they do scam a lot with the money here and uh, it is it is not easy not easy to be a teacher if you are a teacher and you want to come here you also need to do extensive and thoroughly research about the school um, or education center because you could basically end up here and get scammed in many many ways everything from visa work permit to to uh, you know they scam the parents and suddenly you don't have a job and uh, it's a lot of stuff going on so uh, that is the sad side and it gave Vietnam a very very bad reputation another thing is, is uh, that that was the schools another thing is that also happened in business so there was a, a there is a woman now she is in jail uh, they want to give her the death sentence here in Vietnam because she um, she actually managed through her uh, business and fake companies and and stuff to acquire 44 billion US dollars um, this woman she uh, she actually uh, she, she got a loan 2500 loans um, that were acquired uh, I would say very dubious or uh, scam yeah but she made she got to pull it off somehow 44 billion US dollars is shitload of money and now she's in jail and uh, nobody know where the money is so uh, that that's that's Vietnam I mean business and so on and all these cases give Vietnam a very bad reputation to uh, investors that want to invest here and to teachers um, so yeah you need to be really careful in Vietnam it's I, I'm gonna say it's a wonderful country but I think uh, the, the financial scamming and uh, so on it's a little off the rails it's a little it's not that it's much or often it's gigantic and they uh, they they uh, it's in a way it's crazy because in not many countries in the world where you can scam 44 billion US dollars uh, like that uh, it's it's pretty crazy um, but yeah that's uh, that's the latest news in Vietnam uh, normally I would walk outside but today is so hot and and the Sun is so strong if I go outside with a camera you probably just see you don't see much because the Sun is so strong so I chose to go up uh, and sit down and look over the river so yeah that's it so I hope you uh, press that subscribe button and uh, that you like my videos and uh, we will do more videos um, yeah we will continue and um, more videos will come but yeah that was the latest news uh, from Vietnam and um, I don't know what you think about it um, please use the comment field and and write comments and and uh, yeah it's uh, it's a little crazy uh, but that that's 
I, I mean, Vietnam is good in many, many other ways. So it's, uh, it's not, I'm not saying Vietnam is bad. I'm just saying this is one bad thing about Vietnam. There are many good things about Vietnam as well. So like every country have good and bad things. Um, even my home country have good and bad things. So this is one, just one bad, two, two bad things, business basically. Uh, sadly, the schools here are business as well, so it affects students and teachers. Um, but in the end, it is business. And, and it is huge business scams. And um, the parents in the schools, they, they got it this time, and the teachers didn't get paid. Uh, so it's not good, and, and the students don't get education. So it affects many people. Uh, when it comes to that business woman, of course, it affects many people. Uh, people lose their jobs, people uh, lose their income, and so on. So, so business and big business affect many, many people, sadly. But that is the fact, and uh, that's how it is. So that's all for today. And uh, now you know uh, if you consider... English Center International School in Ho Chi Minh or Vietnam, you need to do extremely extensive research and talk to people, check the school's finances uh, and so on before you choose one school and before you pay anything because uh, money can be lost very fast. And uh, that is good to know it's actually very good to know so uh, there are some new laws um, I don't know when they will uh, come in uh, and, and work but uh, in, in the light of uh, last year they said um, uh, we need to see when that law actually come in and actually work it's there that I don't know but um, what they said was that the schools uh, they, they want to make a new law saying that the school are not allowed, the owner is not allowed to take the money out of the school and put it into other businesses. That is a good thing, uh, but w you know, we still need to see when it happened and if it actually happened and how it worked and stuff like that. So, um, but that was in the news. Now we need to see if it actually happened. So, um, hopefully that come into play and become a law then uh, then the schools will be more safe so uh, that that's the news about the international schools and uh, yeah remember to subscribe and like and uh, that's it for today bye bye